Hi there. All right, so I'm hoping if you're here that you have successfully created your Google Teachable machine for hinges, wings, and flying things. And now you're ready to add the code to your micro bit. So the next part of the AI section of the project. So one of the things we do in the book is we tell you to go find the code for getting your AI starter code, which is at bit.ly slash AI starter code. So I'm just going to go to that website. And when you get there, uh, one of the things that sort of confused me when I got here is uh, I'm like, where's the code? There's nothing there. And you're like, oh my gosh, is something wrong? No, 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 everything's, everything's fine. Don't panic, it's just not that intuitive. You need to hit the button in the right corner if it says edit code. And then what'll happen is it'll open up the starter code for you inside make code. So you gotta click on that edit code button to actually get the starter code. Um, and here's the starter code. Um, now, what we have to do, if you follow the instructions, is um, what this is going to do is it's basically give us a way of sort of communicating with our class that we've trained to recognize the word happy, the word sad, or whatever words you chose. And all we have to do here is where we have the if statements, and we say if the data we receive from the model says it's class one, uh, then what do we want to display? So where it says class one, this is basically these if statements are saying which class was detected by the model. So this serial data that's gonna be received is going to be the trained model saying, oh, I heard this word. I heard happy, I heard sad. So wherever you say if serial data equals, it's basically if the model says I heard this, then do the following. So I, when I train my model, and I'm going to show you over here, I created a class called happy that detects when I say the word happy and a class called sad to detect when I said the word sad. So what I want to do is I want to say if serial data equals happy and make sure you spell it correctly, you know, go double check H-A-P-P-Y, yes, okay. Then display what? Uh, maybe a happy face. I, I think I want to display a happy face instead of a heart. So I'm gonna choose the happy face when happy is displayed. Else if, so if it's not happy, but in fact serial data is equal to my other class, which for me was, here you can see, I called mine sad. So if it's equal to sad, then let's display a sad face. I'm gonna see if it's a sad, that looks like a sad face there. And then there's an else if, so if I had another class for angry, or excited, you could just keep going and add as many of these as you want. I don't have any more, um, so I only have happy and sad, so I'm actually gonna use a minus here to remove that. And then there's an else, meaning if it doesn't see happy or sad, let's say it's background noise. Um, so you could say else if serial data equals background noise, but I just like to say if it's happy, show happy. If it's sad, show sad. If it's anything else, then I'm going to use the show icon and I'm gonna use show icon to say, if it's anything else, let's display a neutral face. Maybe that looks sort of like a neutral kind of face. So I have my code ready for my micro bit. Um, and uh, now I'm ready to connect my micro bit to the AI.